Um, cool. Awesome. So I have uh, Shannon with me, um, who is almost done with uh, your 12 week, uh, the metabolic mama method. Um, thanks for hopping on first and foremost. Sure. <laughs> um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself um, and how you, uh, how you found us? Well, that's really funny. Um, Cliff Notes version. I have been trying to lose weight my whole life right? Yeah. And so I've tried yeah. everything. Like I'm a child of the 70s. So mm -hmm. I did Weight Watchers. I did the grapefruit and egg diet. I did, you know, just whatever. Mm -hmm. um, key, uh, Atkins, right? The first yeah. keto, all of yeah. it. And, and just none of it was sustainable. None of it really made me feel good. None of it really made me yeah. look good. Yeah. And so um, I, I've been looking uh, for something. And I know that what I need is accountability. And, right. you know, you think you know what to eat. You're like, I just, I just, you know, if I just had that one thing, well, anyway, I was, uh, I found Noom, right? And then mm -hmm. I found out that what I needed from it wasn't there. I needed that interpersonal communication and, and they right. were bots and it really yeah. pissed me off. Yeah. And did, did they, um, sorry. Did they, by the way, sorry to interrupt. Did, did no. they advertise that it is bots? Or no, they, I just like, figured okay. it out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got it. So they had no, bots because, or something, and then you figured that yeah, out. No, because I was like really wanting that interpersonal one on one. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, and I wasn't getting it because it wasn't and a real did, person. Yeah. And what did you feel like you needed from that interpersonal one on one? Like, what kind of, um, were you like, oh, I just need that? Like, what did you feel like? I need you accountability. Yeah. I need accountability. I need to feel like there's someone else in the world yeah. who cares about this journey as much yeah. as I do. Right. And the problem um, for me was the people in my life, they love mm -hmm. me and mm -hmm. they want me to succeed, but they don't want that to be their role. They don't want knocking chocolate chip cookies out of mom's hands to be their right. role. Their right. role is to love me and to support me. And like, I needed that professional accountability. And so I um, wasn't happy with Noom. And so uh, I saw one of your, I'm not on Facebook. So I saw one of your Instagrams where yeah. I just said metabolic mamas and you were working out with this blonde wig on. Uh -huh. And I was like, <laughs> that's my guy right there. That's him. And so um, I, I just DM'd you. Yeah. And the next thing I know, I've lost 22 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And how do you like, you know, you lost the 22 pounds and, and why do you feel like this time? Cause you tried so much stuff in the past. It really just didn't feel was, you know, was right for you. Why do you feel like this is different? Like with this program, this program is different because, um, Right off the bat, when I started working with Amber, I could mm -hmm. tell she was super um, educated about yeah. nutrition and yeah. fitness. Yeah. And when you're working with someone one-on-one -on -one that's educated, you're going to get a higher level of information. It's mm -hmm. not the bits and bytes from the internet. It's, it's a 15 minute every week of solid information that can change your life. Yeah. And that's, the, that's the difference. And Amber did that. And she's doing that for me because I continued on past the 12 weeks um, because yeah. I want to continue Yeah. because I see this more as it's not a diet. It's not, um, it's not a, a, a fly by night thing. This right. for me is an investment in myself Yeah. and it's an investment into my future because yeah. as someone over 50 who's yeah. had children, okay, mm -hmm. I have two motivations here to continue to maintain my flexibility and strength because yeah. I've seen a lot of older Americans get heavy. They lose yeah. their flexibility and strength and it affects yeah. their life in a poor way. Yeah. And you yeah. want to maintain your flexibility and strength because you want to be there for your grandkids. That's the fun part, right? Yeah. And so, yeah. um, I, I got with Amber, thank goodness, uh -huh. through you. Yeah. And I'm getting that education yeah. that I need yeah. to change my life permanently. 
Right. And I was going to ask like that information, that 15 minutes where you're just getting all this knowledge, like how has that helped you really, um, really create this into more of a lifestyle? Like how, how did that, you know what I mean? Cause like some people get knowledge and they're just like, oh, okay, you know, like this is good to know, but like, how did that really change your whole perspective on you seeing sustainability? Well, I think when you meet with a, a real live person one-on-one -on -one and you're looking them in the eye and you're yeah. having to explain to them why you did or did not follow through on the things that you said right. that you would do that week. Mm -hmm. um, when you know you have to do that, uh, it changes your behavior and yeah. um, your behavior changes. And when your behavior changes, for whatever reason, you see you see a different result. You can't keep doing the same thing over and over and expect a different result. You have to make right. a change. So the change right. for me was that accountability. I'm going to yeah. show up and I'm going to yeah. meet face to face with this, you know, trainer in LA and I better yeah. not have to say, oh yeah, I didn't do it. Why? Why didn't you do yeah. it? You said you yeah. wanted to, this was your goal, right. but see, that's not me. Right. I'm super yeah. Part of myself. So anyway, but it's that accountability piece. Yeah. yeah. And I, I know, you know, it's really interesting because you came in, I, Amber told me that you came in and you're like, I'm going to do amazing on this. I'm going to crush this program. I'm going to dedicate myself. Were you, have you always been like that? Like, did you just come out of your mother's womb and you were just like, I'm going to like just a go getter and like get this done? Or is that something that really, you know, you were able to develop or, you know, even that maybe you know, something this program really helped? bring that out of you i'm glad you asked that question because um physical nutrition and your body is more than just food and walking it's your environment it's mm -hmm. your mental state it's yeah. your the people in your life it's the yeah. job that you have it's so all encompassing Mm -hmm. And I knew before I even came to this program that if I was going to have success here, hashtag mental health promo, yeah. that I needed to get my mind right first, because right. you can't be strong in your body and yeah. your willpower if your mind is not ready for it. So right. I went to therapy and yeah. I got put on some sertraline, some Zoloft. Yeah. Because okay. as when you're overweight for 30 years, that's depressing. Yeah. So it's okay to acknowledge depression. Yeah. And it's okay to acknowledge that you've got to take care of your mind first yeah. so that you can think right. clearly to execute your plan. Right. So right. I, yeah. I am not ashamed to talk about mental health. And as that. a nurse, I think yeah. it's an important thing to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. And what, what, like, obviously you, you, you know, you started going to therapy um, and kind of just like realizing where you were, what, what made you take that next step into action of actually doing something about it and, and, you know, obviously getting the mind right to, so you can get your, you know, your physical part, right. What was the action? Right. I think it's just, you know, um, I like that your, your marketing is to metabolic mamas because speaking to the moms out there, we bleed ourselves out for everyone around us and we don't put our own oxygen mask on first. Mm -hmm. And I intuitively knew that if I was going to help myself, mm -hmm. I needed to help myself identify what the problem was. I was depressed. My kids are grown up and gone. I'm 30 pounds overweight. You yeah. know, I'm, I work in a, in a job that's you know, high stress, high, yeah. long hours, you know, yeah. I knew that going on a diet in that um, mindset of exhaustion, coming from a place of, of lack, um, coming from a place where my personal needs aren't being met. I know that that's not a recipe for success. So I had yeah. to lay the foundation for myself first and the foundation yeah. for success for me was making sure that I had all of the tools necessary to be successful. And that was getting my, that, that negative thinking spiral 
stopped, yeah. you know, yeah. that, that disbelief or, or the feeling that, oh, I'm not good enough, or I yeah. could never do that, or yeah. that it just won't, I've tried everything, it won't work. Those are negative thoughts. Those aren't truths. Yeah. And so if you're not coming to, to this from a place of truth, mm -hmm. and the truth in your program is consistency is the key, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, I just wasn't being consistent because my mind wasn't right. My, my thoughts would get the best of me and I would, oh, I can't do this today. I'll start again tomorrow. That's the biggest lie. Right. Because yeah. there's no consistency in that. So you think, oh, I've been on this diet for three months. I haven't really lost any weight. No, you haven't been on the diet for five minutes because yeah. starting again tomorrow isn't being on anything. So I had right. to get that right. Right. And right. I don't know and, why I'm just that person that's very introspective and always yeah. trying to improve myself. Um, yeah. But it worked. It worked. I got it. I got my mind and, right, and so, my environment. I got hooked yeah. up with you guys and I'm seeing yeah. incredible results. Yeah. And, and like, obviously, uh, yeah, you're totally right. A lot of moms in that, that headspace, you know, where, where their mental health is really um, negative one way or the other. What's your biggest uh, piece of advice? for them to get past that so they can take some action they can start taking care of themselves yeah my biggest piece of advice is to become aware of mm. not just diarying your food and yeah. checking in but become aware of how you're feeling during the process yeah. um if you're feeling hopeless or sad or yeah or um like it's too hard yeah say something to your trainer because that's what they're there for right, um because right. it's all of it it's holistic it's right. it's all of it so yeah, absolutely and awareness I, yeah. and then ask for help because you've got to totally. ask for help yeah and you know a lot of people that are, you know a lot of you moms watching this on the uh, facebook stream obviously you're not in the program but be okay asking for help. You know, if it's not to me, someone, because you, I can't do this alone. No one can do this alone. And as a mom, just innately putting yourself last, it's, it's, it's even harder, right? Mm -hmm. You mentioned um, a lot of things, you know, about like mentally how you're feeling and, you know, take me through um, how you're feeling now compared to how you started before uh, how you felt before you started. Wow. That's a great story. Um, I have this memory of myself just being so like, I don't even know what the word is, but it was hopeless, you know? And as, as, a as a mom, you know, I don't have girls, I have boys. So I got off a little easy there um, because the boys, they don't care what I look like, but, but um, I think I just, I had this, what I'm trying to get to is, and this is really hard to say, but what I, I had this vision of my future self is the best way I could say it. And I didn't know how to get there. And my future self was strong and confident yeah. and happy. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to start walking towards that future self. And yeah. it seemed overwhelming. Um, yeah. But once I, like I said, once I kind of got my mind straight and decided, yes, I'm doing this, I'm going to do it no matter what. I yeah. know I can yeah. and I'm going to. And then Amber, oh. <laughs> sorry. No worries. Oh, oh, you're muted. I think you just have to open the app back up if you can hear me still. Yeah, I can. Okay, there we go. I can hear you again. Yeah. Sorry, I just okay. uh, somebody came to my door here. Oh, no worries. Hey, sorry, I'm live streaming. Come on in and do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're live. <laughs> Anyway, right. But this is mom stuff. Like it's never done. It's never over. There's always something right. going on. But anyway, so my point to you is that 
once I got with Amber, then she was able to provide that structure to me because it was yeah. overwhelming to me. It's like I showed up with everything that I could, ready to go mentally, ready to go. My environment's good, yeah. but I needed that structure. And so yeah. then Amber provided that structure. Here's what we're going to do. And, right. um, and I just plugged in and I told Amber, we're skiers out here in Colorado. We click into our skis, right? And once you're clicked in, there's nowhere you can go but yeah. down the mountain. And yeah. so I clicked in, clicked and in. Uh, but I was ready to do it. And um, yeah. I prepared myself. Yeah. 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 And this, you said like, you're like, I saw my future self as stronger. Um, all, you know, we'll have different emotions there. How do you feel now? in terms yeah. of like getting closer to that where you saw yourself like how are you feeling now right wow i'm a lot stronger um i'm stronger mentally um yeah. i'm um i'm happier for sure because i i have seen the results you know i i i planned my work and worked my plan and it worked and so, uh, and I have more hope that, um, you know, these little things that, that threw me off in the, in the past, like those two pound weight gains that would just, oh, forget yeah. it. I can't do this. It's just never going to happen for me. It's like, now I understand yeah. um, that's a 48 hour thing and yeah. you just need to wait. And I'm a yeah. nurse, forgive me for saying this, but you probably need to poop right just wait yeah. a minute it's gonna yeah. be okay and yeah. so it's like but when your mind's not right it's hard to walk yourself through those logical processes right, right. or if you don't know that okay there's another way right. to actually look at it instead of looking at it this way but right. that's great yeah. i know we, we stayed on a little over here for you but um, i just wanted to thank you no you're yeah. that, that was my fault i was really i you know you took me into your journey and where you are now and before and you know all the stuff that had to happen for you to get to where you get to and it's really empowering and it's very um very inspiring and i hope that all you moms watching this um get a lot out of that because uh you know there was nothing <laughs> there's nothing separate as you heard from sharon that she came out of her mother's womb with just this amazing metabolism and this you know this focus <laughs> on like getting this done you know there's nothing that's separate from you and and from sharon um to get where you want to get to so whatever limiting beliefs you guys have out there, just wipe them up. Because at the end of the day, like Sharon was saying, truth. Truth always prevails, right? That all the stuff that's going on in your head, the stories you're making, it's not true. Only thing that's true is that you have the ability to do this and that you can be consistent with it. That's it. That's right. Change your life. I appreciate life. you hopping on. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I appreciate you hopping on. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the rest of the journey with you. Thanks, Dylan. I appreciate you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.